Hello, welcome back to my blog, Edis English Literature. I am Ardhendu De. Today, we are going to read John Osborne's Look Back in Anger. We will try to locate the realism or a kind of problems that ensues in the play. As you all know, the story centers around a marital struggle of the protagonists, that is Jimmy and Alison, husband and wife. Jimmy Potter is an intelligent and educated, but a kind of disaffected young man of working class origin. On the other side of this kind of seesaw is the impassive upper middle class wife, Alison. So the ensuing struggle is on. The apparent disharmony in the couple in John Osborne's look back in anger is our prime focus in this lecture. Herein, John Osborne's look back in anger is full of verbal violence and abuses directed against women. We will study how much they are theoretically approving here. But first of all, a few words on the term violence. If look back in anger is a play of verbal violence and abuse, much of it is directed against women. Rarely has it thought the hero of any drama bearing upwards saws man and superman that is indulged in such violent excesses against women. Yet uh, there is a mode of difference because while in Saw's play the hero Tanner also admits the procreative importance of the woman, Osborne's hero Potter sees no novelty in a woman. But as the play would gradually reveal, Jimmy's attitude towards women is justified in somewhat justified as far as Jimmy explains it so, so that he would ultimately be able to mold at least one woman to the woman of his heart's desire. If you pop up in this drama and try to locate why, why is this, there is so much anger, you will find out in much of this play, the term hatred is everywhere. Jimmy is the angry young man who is disillusioned with modern society. This drama uh, is social realism, which depicts it, the domestic situations of working class. And this working class Britain very opposed to the Wales drama, you know. It is a kind of a kitchen sink drama, you know, kitchen sink. The very first thing, um, Jimmy describes how every woman thinks herself to be the superior of her male companion, so that a man can only be the white woman's burden. Choosing the phrase of Kibling's, of course, ironical that phrase is, he describes how he had once upon a time lived in a flat beneath a couple of girls. If you minutely uh, classify this drama, you will find out that Jimmy character is kind of a everyman character of the working folks. Jimmy presents the coarseness of these women by speaking of the attack on his sensibility. They are perpetually talking, quarreling, ousting and raging a great racket. When Jimmy fails to dampen their enthusiasm with his obscene remark, he himself loves the flat. He now only wonders about the poor devils whom he might have married and driven mad. So disgusted is the woman who has married and driven mad. So disgusted is he with women that he had turned into a misogamist who preaches homosexuality in spite of not practicing himself. He speaks of the intolerable sexual energy of the woman in terms of the tossing coil of the python. He praises all those literary artists who have been homosexual such as the famous painter Michelangelo, French novelist and a guide. So in whole of the drama we will find out a kind of hatred and that hatred is from the origin of social disparity or social imbalance. Now 
if I say sitting on the fence, it is Jimmy's own wife, Alison, who is the brunt of Jimmy's assault against the woman. Although at first Alison seems to be truly tolerant and an almost ideal woman who does not deserve such treatment from the husband. But the reality is other, quite different. As a woman, he has not been able to identify herself with her husband. So he never goes parallel with Alison and Alison never go parallel with her husband. She was a member of the upper class and she has not been able to forget the class distinction between herself and her husband. Although she puts on Jimmy's old shirt as a mark of acceptance, or the expensive skirt that she wears underneath uh, gives her some other feelings. She admits that she is a sort of hostage simply because she belongs to another class. Even after a long time, she has not been able to identify herself with him. So that Jimmy oftentimes accuses her of lack of love and sympathy and even her own father uh, whom we will find as an important character in this drama accuses Alison of sitting on the fence rather than joining her husband in the arena. The other woman who suffers Jimmy's wrath is Alison's friend Helena. It is Helena who at the beginning instigates Alison against her husband and makes her leave him. But it gradually comes to light that she is herself in love with Jimmy. And after a brief and intense struggle, they begin to live with each other. And um, this woman, this particular woman Helena, two proofs inadequate and the invectives, the anger that burns Alison once also turns burning and smokes come out in their relationship. She always walks by her book of rules while Jimmy is a free thinker who has no use of rules. While Jimmy hates the church, Helena must visit the church on religious occasions. They ultimately find themselves incompatible so that Helena leaves him the moment Alison arrives. I am delivering this lecture only to make you an interested guy in this drama. In this section, you will find how Alison is changed. This Alison is no longer an inadequate woman, finally we find. In earlier, Jimmy had declared that he would love to flash about in her tears and sing because of her lack of identification. Today, he finds her to be a totally changed woman. She has undergone suffering because of the miscarriage of her child and was woken up to the fact that it is only Jimmy who can provide solace. She has now given up her concepts of the divine rights of women and declared that she is willing to abandon everything else, including her expensive social baggages, habits, in order to identify herself wholly with his ideals and his class. She decides that she wants to be a lost creature like her husband. And from now onwards, there is no barrier to their living together as husband and wife. In the final sections, I'll carry out the discussion, the beer and squirrel game, symbolic one. Jimmy's virulence against women is therefore less the result eccentricity than that of a game like desire to save the nest adequately mating. Once that is cheered, the husband and wife can indulge in their game of beer and squirrel and can also stand secure against the entire world. 
so i will invite you to jump into this john osborne's play look back in anger you will get the explanation why there is anger you will find much interesting character in jimmy and the jimmy allison relationship as well as jimmy helena relationship and the social strata that permits or that uh, breaks the entire so-called said dramas and how the breaking of the rules and making a type of a drama which is called new theater which is called kitchen sink drama or a kind of drama of ideas too so like share comment and obviously subscribe to my channel to get this kind of post and by this way you can have a better introduction into literature if you have any questions just ask me i will try my best to explain those bye bye